We are Habana, going Habana, to Habana. prank Junior. We are going to prank Junior for like the first one minute of the podcast. Stay tuned. Don't leave. Bro, come on. You got here late. You're drinking water. Guys, um, Pete the producer um, comes late actually every day. But, you know, I, I tolerate that because he's a producer, right? You want me to, you know how to put it higher? Like this? Now lift it and tighten it. For what? Well, that's too high. Yeah, but why, why do I want that? Jeez. You, you tell Junior put it up, uh, you know, a couple inches, he goes two feet up. Uh, actually, uh, 2.5. Now it's really low, actually. <laughs> no, it's fine. Right here, it's fine. No, it's I really low. I got you. I'll fix he'll, he'll fix it. He'll fix I'm not going to talk like this. Look. But get closer. Man. Like, like put you your look, feet. Uh, no, put no. your feet stand in up, between. Stand up. Sorry, all right. You, this is what you're doing, sir. Look, look. No, because the way it works is blah, blah, blah. You're not talking. The way we... So then show me. Show me that sir. Today we're talking about... Hey, hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Carpenter Such, the podcast. Let's start it again. I'm sorry. Okay. Welcome to Carbon and Stutch, the podcast. Like, like, he's making, up. he's mocking uh, us. He's okay. mocking us. Welcome to Carbon and Stutch. Wait, what do I gotta say? What's my first line? Oh, you sound just <laughs> like him now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the Carpenter's Touch, the podcast, right? <laughs> and today, you know, if you guys watched uh, last week's video, right? The, if you haven't hit the link up here, follow that link. You're gonna watch that video. You're gonna love it. It's cut, crazy. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> take, take it from the top. Why? <laughs> There's a model. It's a prank, sir. Yeah, we was just messing with you. All right, let's take it from the top. Pete, the producer, be the director. Taking it from the top. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching, keep watching. Welcome back to Carpenter's Touch, the podcast. This is your host, Junior Garcia. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And today, listen, I'm... Excuse the little studio. We're we're making well of what we have here now. We we want to expand. We want to bring in some top names into our podcast. You know, because you guys are asking for this, right? So we're, we're going to change the scenery a little bit and do it somewhere else. Also, Pete, what's on the agenda today, baby? Uh, did you go over your notes for this week? What? Did you go over your notes for this week? <laughs> I didn't go over <laughs> I'm doing this. You're busy running <laughs> the fly on my face. <laughs> no, you studied it. You got you got the agenda last Monday, and you went over it for this week. Uh, Losing Our carpenter yeah. ants, good for your home. Ooh, Is that the one? Zero views for that. Zero view. Okay. No, no. Uh, so. Remember, we spoke about losing money on jobs. Losing money on jobs, right? And 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 the first one that I, that I think about. When we talk about that one, there's there's several, but we'll, we could start with the small one. Um, remember that door? Oh, I remember that door. White Golf, New Jersey. $5,000 $5, door. Let them know. Talk to them so, about that so one. 5000 You know something? Before I go to 5500 right, let me go to, um, there was, I had a sales guy, very nice sales guy. Right. Um, and we was doing a siding job. Um, and that would definitely is a podcast in itself. Uh, he should have been part of my crazy clients. Right. And if you haven't watched that, you can go into my YouTube channel and hit the, the link and go watch that crazy clients is definitely you're going to love it. Right. It's very funny, very informative. I had a special guest um, and Nicholson, Dave from Nicholson Roofing was awesome on that. Right. So just, you know, just. Going back in the situation, right? There was a door that we installed there, right? Uh, so I measured out the hardy, and his job was to measure out the door. 
the door was measured wrong. So when we're installing the Hardy, we're gonna install this door. We installed windows, bear in mind, we installed windows. And after we finished all the windows, we had to install this one door. This one door, their size was wrong. He measured it wrong, he ordered it wrong. So now- Who, who, the homeowner or the, your employee? My employee, the sales guy. Um, and I told him, go back and go measure that door and make sure it's right. So I send them out there blindly, trusting in him, and he goes and measures the door right. He measures the door, the, right? Now that the door is already measured, we, they ordered the door. We, we, we told the vendor, make it quick, please. They got it in two weeks. Door comes in, and as you guys know, the door will have, you know, it has a right hinge or a left hinge, right? One, a door will open a, a different way, right? To the right or to the left. And in this case, it was an in-swing door. So the carpenters are following me. You guys know what that is. He didn't have it that way. What it was an outs- well, yeah, homeowner. What about homeowner? So in-swing uh, in -swing is the door. You hold the handle and you draw it towards yourself. That's in-swing. Out-swing is that so the door- and pushing. Right, exactly. And the door, this was a door going to the- to from the house into the garage so it's, it was going to be an out swing door guess what that door was wrong wrong size or it like it uh, swing the, the the size was correct but the in swing was wrong it should have been an out swing not an in swing so now i had to go back we already paid for that door we paid for the other door so we're down now about thirty three thirty four hundred dollars I have to buy another door. But explain why. It's not because it's not because you you had to order two doors. It's because there is no return on special order. Exactly. There's no return on special order. That that door was definitely special order, right? He wanted a specific color. It it was um, he had some designs to that door as well. He had a different type of a uh, sill plate as well. So we could not return it. Once once you buy that door, it's not like Home Depot. You can return it, right? Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, the door, you don't like it, return it. They'll give you your money back. Not your vendors, right? Your vendors will not return that, and that's your door. Now, going fast forward to Wyckoff, I invested in this door, right? And it was uh, roughly $5,500. A different door. It was a different door. We're in Wyckoff, New Jersey, um, and I purchased the door. If you guys haven't seen that, that was on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, about the story about how I lost $5,500 and the reason why we lost $5,500 is that the door size was off by two inches so we were just going to pack it out and carpenters will pack out everything and we'll just use bigger trim the gentleman says no junior everything looks beautiful in my house you know the stone is well the the hardy is beautiful the gutters the lighting and then now I have to add this big trim that's not you know exactly like the other side of the trims in my house so guess what so i had to eat that door up i ate that door did well bought another door and installed the door he was happy he did a video for us um he wrote a nice google review for us he's he's happy and he's also referred me uh did i lose money yes contractors will lose money you generally don't want to I prefer losing money than losing your reputation. Because if you lose your reputation, you lose everything. Every every contractor depends on reviews and you stand behind what you do, right? That's what you want to do. So uh, did, did you do did, contractors do lose money? They do. Did you tell them? Did you tell them like, hey, the door's smaller, so we're just gonna increase the size of the uh, molding? Or we did, did he did very the the good thing about You think he would have noticed? He definitely would have noticed because everything in his house, he, he just invested about $95,000 in his European kitchen. All the cabin, all the cabinet that came, came from Germany. Um, and that was definitely a high end kitchen that he just invested in. And he was a retired electrician from New York city. So he knows, and that's, he knows the, that's the thing with some clients, right? Like there are some clients that give you creative freedom. And you're, they're like, oh, no, you design it. You say whatever. You uh, but they're those that, like, they know what they want. 
to the inch, to the centimeter, to the one eighth of an inch. There are con- there there are clients out there that that's not a problem. That's fine. Take care of it. I'll go with the bigger molding. Not why send the door? Why waste that door? No, the door's perfectly fine, right? But there's other people that says I never ordered that size, and they're right. They never did. Right, you so, gotta eat it up. You gotta you gotta take the L. You know. So one question. Right. Um, what happened with the other two doors that you bought prior to the correct one? So those doors got recycled. Did you, you didn't try to sell it forward? Uh, I did. 4, I did sell it forward at a discounted rate because remember the vendors will not take those doors back. So I was able to sell one. Uh, the door was probably eighteen hundred dollars, and I probably sold it for five six hundred dollars. Uh, very very discounted. You know, not to take a big big L. I did. Um, and then the other, the second door, it's in my house. <laughs> you used it? I used it. <laughs> I actually, because it had a, <laughs> it was a good door. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was definitely a good door. It was very durable and it had all the bells and whistles. I used it, you know. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember this one. Okay. Do you remember a roof? I'm not going to mention the town. Okay. But that you underbid. <laughs> you underbid on that roof. Do you remember that? It wasn't him. Bro. It wasn't. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. But it was, it was somebody from. It we we weren't on that roof. The guy started tearing it off. We did a video. Never Do you remember that roof? I, honestly, I don't remember. The, what? The roof, I don't remember. It was a big, big. It was a really big roof, and you're like, we can't do a video here. Did the wrong number. What? I, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but I, 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 I heard what you said, but I don't remember the roof. I actually, I don't. Really? I don't I remember. remember. I remember that roof was yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah, that roof was huge, and we because... couldn't post the video because. The... Just stop the video for one <laughs> second. I, I need to know. Wait, I don't want to throw my guy under the, you know, under the, the bus, bus, right? But it did happen, right? The reality was that, um. In the real world of contracting and your salespeople, um, when they're going on m- multiple estimates and they're closing jobs and making things happen, and 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 we do have a process and we go through our list, that person forgot one line item, and it was in the measurements. And in the measurements, I think I I believe it was something of like 15 squares. They were off. 15 squares is a little small Cape home, right? Uh, 1,500 square feet, right, is in roofing. I took the biggest L because when I went to the job site, I'm like, wait, what's what's going on here? Uh, the guys are saying, all the roofers are saying, hey, w- we need more materials. What, what, what's going on? What's going on? And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And I looked at the manifest. Okay, we got X amount. Wait, what do we need? We need 50, roughly about, measure it up, 15 more squares, 15 more squares. I went back, I called the salesperson and said, hey, what's going on? I mean, wh- how much did you calculate? Let, let me check the folder, check the folder. And when they did the math, they said they didn't add it all correctly. And we were short 15. I cannot go back to the client with a good heart and tell them, listen, you owe me for this amount. That's why they signed because the price was very, very discounted. So, do contractors make, you know, put, errors? Put, put that in dollars. Uh, 15, 15, 15 uh, squares. I, back I, then. Back then. Uh, I don't have my... It, my it's phone. between... It was between... So, it was 15. So, I am going to say something about $6,500, yeah, something like that. on average. Yeah, uh, average amount. Um, I had to take the L, but that... That... It does not include the extra container because I didn't allocate that money because there was more garbage that was coming off. That was, that was a and big more, roof. And, and more labor. So I, I say that because contractors do make mistakes. You know, there's people that underbid jobs and then they realize they're in it. And a good contractor will just eat it up, chalk it up and try to get a review from you and do the best possible job to win the neighbors, right? The neighbors' homes and... Uh, what, but, what do contractors do to the salesperson's commission in so, that case? So in that case, is that like a meeting? 
It's that is definitely happens. that is a definitely a, ser- a serious and meeting. Depending who it is, it might be. A so it, if fire. if I'm, I'm gonna say right, it, 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 if it's me, we have we definitely have a strong meeting. Uh, there is no commission that that salesperson will make, obviously, but because there was it was a total loss. Uh, but also, uh, we we go we make sure and retrain that process again. To, to make sure we go down the list i know that some of my competitors are it's you're fired you're fired you're out of here you messed up this much you cost me this much i didn't want to see you i am on the other side of that token i'm like love and mercy you know uh i believe in second chances and third chances and so because we all make mistakes there's not one contractor out there that has never made a mistake uh i thank god that one of the biggest biggest mistakes out there that roofers do is they will send their roofing crew out to the job and this is a big mistake that's a, a loss right that they'll send out the roofing crew and they'll text them the address. Let's call it 123 Main Street, you know, and they'll go to 123 Main Street. And it, it should have been 128 Main Street. And they start tearing off the roof oh. at 123 Main Street. And then the client is looking at them and like, oh. And then if you look down two houses down, you'll see roof shingles in front of the neighbor's home. <laughs> And when the roofing contractor comes, he's telling his employee, what are you guys doing? That's not the roof. It's that roof. And I mean, the, Imagine and the, getting home and <laughs> just no roof. It's, go looking up and it's no roof. So, so the good thing about it is that to the person that gets that, it's happened so many times. Thank God it's ha- in the 18 years, it's never happened to us. We've double checked it, right? Uh, our address have our materials gotten delivered somewhere else it has but that was through the vendor's mistake not our mistake um the problem with that is that that homeowner may want to sue they're going to get a free roof but they may want to sue the good thing is a free roof and a a lawsuit mm, they're not 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 a bad idea they're out there they're out there not a bad idea because they they my roof is only two years old and you just changed my roof Right. So the good thing about it, if you're the contractor, right, and you might be one of the young guys, young roofing contractors that are following me, go through it. Listen, you you apologize to that client and tell them I'm going to make it good. You're going to get your warranty. You're going to stick with it. You're going to clean the house. And then now it's a total loss. It's a full total loss. Now you have to go and do the roof 128, right? Main Street. So it's out there. So losing money because of uh, underbidding or mistakes in measurements. I, I, losing money um, because you're tearing off the wrong roof <laughs> in the wrong address. And I think, I think another way that um, you lose money is in fines. Have you lost money in fines? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely fines. So there's different. There's different fines. So I, I'll tell you. Back in the days, if you're in the state of New Jersey, right? If you guys were in the state of New Jersey, I'm going to say eight, ten years back, you had to get a permit, right? You had to get a roof permit. And you would go to the town, fill out the application, pay them $100, $200. Uh, if it was Jersey City, <laughs> it was a lot. If for Jersey City to the roof, you had to get a container permit, get a roof permit. You got to get a fire extinguisher permit. You had to get a street permit. And you had to hire a police officer and pay them $500 so the delivery can be made, right? And if you didn't have those permits, you would definitely get fines. Just so for the cops to go like this. Just so they can stop, hey, you can't move. So it, for us, when we did a job in Jersey City, we had to hire the police officers, right? Um, and we had to pay. You, the contractor, we, or the homeowner? The, we, the, the contractor, contractor. we, the contractor, have to do that. So I was still new. And I told the homeowner, I said, listen, they're offering, they're telling us this, 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 and that. He says, I understand because I've been in Jersey City all my life. I will absorb all those fees, right? And we got, long story short, when we was at that siding job getting the delivery, the cops never showed up. The delivery truck made it, but the cops never made it. We called the cops, and you know what the cops said? 
just deliver it. But I said, you charged me $500, you know? So um, he goes, don't worry about it. I say fines. Uh, one of the part of fines is if back then, if you didn't pull out a permit, you're definitely going to get a fine. It's a, a $2,000 fine, you know? It's if they start, you started to do a roof without a permit, you and get caught the the permit fee the the fine was two thousand dollars to the flip side of that right is that if you do have your permits you're not going to get a fine the other thing was the major thing out there now is osha osha is the biggest thing out there you have been fined by osha Ooh, jesus have i been fined of course i can't tell you the dollar amount why not why i can't tell you the dollar amount because i may scare people but give, if, give, give them the amount. Two dollars. No, 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 no. Seriously, give I'm them the amount. I'm not gonna man. give you the dollar Come amount. Come on. Okay, you heard it. So listen, guys. You didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. Because I'm not gonna tell you. So, <laughs> guys, OSHA is real, and if you're a young contractor, I don't care what state you're in, they're gonna get you. If you're in a new construction site. It's, it's you're probably going to get caught faster because if you don't have a hard hat, you don't have a helmet. I mean, a, a hard hat. You don't have a, a scaffolding equipment. You don't have a harness. You're not tied off. Your ladder is not extending past the roof three feet. There's so many things that can go wrong. If you're in a ditch, the ditch is three feet down and you don't have a ladder for your worker to come out in and out of safe. You're going to get fines. There's fines for every single thing. So starting the fines, fines can start up, just starting is $5,000. Starting at $5,000. Now, I, that'll put you out of business real quick. If That's you're, so yeah, if you're a small guy, you, you're out of it. If you're a small guy, you're, you're, you're out of the loop in that situation because it's, it's going to hit you hard. Most fines are somewhere from 30 to about $60,000. $60,000. If you're in a big construction site, you have to account for some type of fines. When I worked in New York City, I got fined uh, by fire. NYC came in. It was freezing cold. I was doing this big, huge, huge complex on Woodrow to the people there in San Island. They're right uh, in Woodrow. I did the siding there. And it was cold. And the builder, well, really the developer, he's like, you got to get it done. We need to sign up. We need to sign up because we want to rent the spots. And, you know, we got investors here and we got it. Come on. We need to sign It was cold. It was like freezing cold. So what did we do? Latinos do what they have to do to keep warm. And we took a barrel, <laughs> filled it up with wood from, you know, from, you know, from uh, the pallets. Started up a fire. The fire got a little excessive. <laughs> and somebody called the fire department. Bro. I showed up to court. I got a big fine. I got a tough fine. I went to court in Staten Island. Um, it was just like me and you. You know what you did, right? Here's the pictures. Blah, 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 blah. This is the fine. Just pay it. That was it. They get you. Didn't on even all the hear you out. No, it was like this. He's like this, this, this. Before you go in, this is what's going on. What do you want to do? Do you bring a lawyer? Any? You don't really need a lawyer. You, you know. Okay. And then they give you, and you yeah, pay the fine. Most developers and builders, they just care about the bottom line. So, so right. But, uh, the 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 developer there. The developer there pushed it towards me. And gave him my name. Hey carpenter's touch speak to them and that's what happened you know so um does it happen does does fines happen they do it's a reality of you know uh, being a contractor like uh you know a young sales guy that says you know i'm gonna be a contractor i'm gonna make money i'm gonna do this sure you'll make money but you have to take into account guys you're gonna lose money as well before you make money, you're gonna probably lose some, you know, because of an inexperience of, of what's going on. And then, you know, you try to get by, oh, 
I don't have to do this because OSHA is not around. I'm in a residential area. Guess what? OSHA shows up now in a residential area. So uh, it's, it's reality, you know? How much did you lose in that takeoff job? <laughs> the lumber takeoff. I, oh, I not not, oh. not that I not, I don't like to hear the amount you lose. I just think it's it's interesting because um it's a lot of money. So I'll tell you the story, right? It's a lot of money. No, 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 no. I want numbers. Can I share the story first, Pete? Numbers. Story. Pete, let him be, please. So I definitely lost uh a lot of money. So let me share the story, right? Um uh, we was going to buy a lot of lumber for this project. I sent my plans out to do a takeoff. And to the contractors out there, um, they know what a takeoff is, right? They just, homeowners don't know what to take off. So basically, you have uh, a blueprint. And let's say you're, you're doing an addition or a new construction home. You send out the plans. And generally, you'll make a lumber list out of that, whether it's beams, concrete, you know. Uh, plywood and so forth and so forth so I send it to uh, a lumber company right and the lumber company send it back and I looked at the bottom number and I went through my list and I'm like okay all right felt like it's something was missing right I send it back to him I said I said Are, is everything in this list everything is in this list now remember at that time it was COVID so the prices of lumber was excessively. So I thought to me that everything was on it. I really should have did my homework and looked through that whole list. To my surprise, they send the lumber list. We're starting the demo of that home. And guess what? They send me the wrong entire lumber list. The house was already teared off. The whole second floor was teared off. I had to run to a different lumber store with me and my three trucks and go get lumber because i went to a lumber company i said guys the sales guy there right i said he went on vacation and he says listen this whole list is exactly wrong i don't know what he was looking at what plants he was reading everything is actually wrong there's nothing that's right nothing nothing is right so the, 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 and bear in mind, I paid for the materials already. I paid for the materials. I paid already $30,000. So everything that was on the list that you sent, right? none of that lumber was at the site. I probably, uh, it, it was on the site. Um, they gave me pre-cuts and to the guys that know, right? Pre-cuts. Um, they didn't give me. The second floor was supposed to be a nine foot ceiling. So I had to have lumber that's, that would accommodate that height. I didn't. So now I run, I, I spoke to the, I ran to the lumber company that they messed up and I explained it to the manager and everything. And they were trying to win my business and everything. And he says, well, if you want new lumber, you're going to have to pay again. I said, the lumber is in on your property. I'm on my property. Just come and pick it up and give me the right stuff that I need. Guess what? They said, no, I have to speak to my district manager. I didn't have time. I ran to a different lumber yard and dug in my own pocket and, and paid for that to be built up. Got all the lumber, you know, got more beams, you know, and I did I learn a lesson? I did learn a lesson. Wait, but what happened with the lumber that was already on the site? So we took we took it back. We okay. took it. We, we told them to take it back. They what gave us credit. Did they get full credit. No, they gave me full credit. They had to make good on it because they could. Their one, their sales guy didn't really look at the plans to do the takeoffs correctly. Uh, so I mean, I can sue them right now if I want to, right? I can sue them for every single dime that I lost, right? But I wanted to get the job done, so I lost out of my pocket. Uh, will they get a, 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 a job for me ever again? Never. Never, ever, ever again. I don't want to be a mean person, but if you can't read set of plans, go. Get a different job. You know what I'm saying? I was in the hole for about 30000 for about uh, two months, roughly. Two How did months. you survive 30000 So, you know, thank God that I had other jobs coming through and I was 
making money from the other jobs and I was able to, you know, uh, transfer that money and to pay for, you know, of this $30,000 loss, you know, um, and, you know, it, it turned out all right in the sense where I'm keeping my current client happy and everybody else happy. And I don't, I don't know owe anybody. Did I lose money? I did lose money. And I always stress out. It's always better to lose money than lose your reputation. Absolutely. Always, you know, go the extra mile, walk with them, do this, do everything. I'll do that. Why? Because people will know that you're genuine and you're a good guy. You know, everybody wants to hire the good guys. They don't want to hire the, the crummy guys that, you know, there's guys out there. I'm not changing that. I don't care. Contractors that are mean, you know, mean spirited. You know something? I'm not giving back you the money, you know? Just guys out there like that, you know? So I say all this, right? Because contractors definitely lose money. They make money, but they lose money. And then, you know, you kind of average out what you actually made, you know? And you're always the last one to get paid. Contractors are always the last to get paid, right? Um, I'm, I mean, if I tell you right now, I'm still waiting on builders to pay me, you know? So it, it's it's a, it's the reality if you do work for certain how, how builders. Long, how long before we call them out? Oh uh, no! It ge generally, <laughs> ge generally no. I listen. I have a builder. I mean, I'm, I'm, we do it as well. We we build as well. But there's a builder that I do work for. Uh, he only gives me his roofing and siding. He's the best out there. He's in Bergen County. Uh, HH Remodeling. The guy is the best payer out there because. Uh, he pays on time. He just, he's. He doesn't play with people's money. He doesn't play with people's money. And then, you know, we're going to have that. Give him a shout out. Hey, and Norm. Norm. And he's won a multiple awards for building in Bergen County. Give him a shout out. Yeah. So, Norm from HH Remodeling. He's the guy. One question, my brother, yeah. to you. How many times do you eat a day? Uh, I probably eat three times a day just like you guys. Uh, no, it, it's an insider because earlier we were talking, you know, when you arrived late again for right. your uh, fourth episode in a row. I, I think. Wait, no, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. When you arrived late, we were discussing asking you silly questions. So, you know, you pay back for being late. Oh. And one of the questions wow. was like, how many times do you eat a day? And we were like, we can't ask that in the middle of a controversial wow, topic. That's, thank you. But sure enough. So there you have it, guys. Um, contractors definitely lose money. On jobs and everything else. On jobs and on everything else. They don't just make money. Um, uh, I always say, right, if you have a good contractor, he's, he's going to earn what he what you gave him he's really gonna earn and then sometimes they make mistakes and they all pay for it if you're a good contractor or you hired a good contractor he'll take the loss just to hold on to his name his reputation so there you have it guys um i shared my story if you have a, an idea um or you want to come on this podcast and you know kick it around with me and and, and share some who are you moments. inviting yeah, you're, you're invited. Just, you know, DM me. No, who who are you inviting? Who am I inviting? Well, I'm definitely going to invite. I'm looking for this special homeowner that has hired crazy contractors. And I think that will be the name of our next one. Crazy contractors. Because there's some crazy guys out there, guys. Not everybody's nice. Not everybody's polite. Um... There's some real crazy stuff out there. And um, I remember, and I'll share this one. I remember when my brother uh, used to work for a guy. Um, and this was crazy back then. This was over 20 years uh, when there was no internet. There was no Google. There was no, it was just the yellow book, right? Um, a client in this town, they went to install a garage door. Back then, the garage door was only um, around $800. So they did the contract for $800 material and labor. So the, con the homeowner agreed to that price. They went and they installed the garage door. 
my brother was the installer with the contract with the contractor and what happened was the client came out and says listen i went to home depot and i saw this door at 50 percent off why i'm not going to give you the rest of the money i gave you 400 that's more than enough i'm not going to pay you the 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 other 400 so what happened crazy contractor he says are you sure you're not going to pay me i am not going to pay you the client says are you sure i am not going to pay you okay i'm going to take my door he took the door he backed in where he took his truck and backed into the brand new door and he waited there he said i'm going to call the cop call the cops cops came Livingston cops come like this quick they came and if you just wrote a report and it, at that time it, it would be considered a criminal act at that time they just let him go and they just wrote wrote down like a violation of summons and they had to go to court and they made it like a civil case right um but there's you know i know that he got beat right and you're like hey, he got beat for the money but he, he, even if you get beat for the money you can't do it that way you, you can't go out crazy you got to be a good contractor so there you have it guys don't forget to like to subscribe to leave a comment below you have any ideas leave them down here let me know how i'm doing um do you want me to speak in espanol déjame saber papi keep watching